live with myself with that. Were you surprised that they haven't said like what it is, or, or do you think maybe they do know what it is and they're not saying? I have no idea. I know as much as you do. You know, uh, we mean both both of us did a, a show in Canada, and that was the first time I heard it. Even he was like, "We still don't know what it is." And I looked over like during the show, like. What do you mean? You know, <laughs> I was like, "Are you serious?" And we're scheduled already, in not not too far from now. And uh, I don't know. I just I, I, I pray for the guy, and I hope he I hope he's he's good. Yeah, you guys actually have a lot in common. You know, you guys are in a lot of ways cut from the same kind of cloth. Is there something? Um, does that affect how you approach this fight with Max? You know, not really. I I like when I seen him. And the way he was talking and everything, I low key I was like, I can see myself partying with you. Like, <laughs> I, like I can see myself hanging out with you. You know, like he's he's from Hawaii. I have a lot of love for Hawaiians. Yeah. Uh, we go there all the time, surf and everything. Um, I even said it before. It's gonna suck, you know, because you have two guys who, who, you know, like this guy's dope. I consider myself a cool person. Um, but we have nowhere to go though, you know? And it's like, either you vacate it and move up the weight class, and then we keep doing this, or we, we have what we have now, which is where we fight each other. So for you, when you beat Frankie, you know, I feel like a lot of people in the past have just, just thought of you as obviously T-City, right? So what do you think that did for not only um, people understanding what a complete fighter you are, but even just for your own sense of confidence, being able to knock out somebody who's never been knocked out? It felt good. It felt, because I've always known it, and then during training, I always prove it. But when I fight, somehow these guys end up, I end up wrapping these guys up, and I, I and I, I get frustrated with myself because I know I have a lot more in me, and it just sucks when you can't show the world that, because they're not there to watch you train. Sometimes I do some things that that we film. I'm like, no way, I did that, and I'm like. Imagine if everyone could see that. Like, I have this skill; it's in me, right? Um, I think that moment panned out well, as in terms of it got to show everyone that I got hands to, and in, in the fashion that it was done to who it was done to, really kind of just put a statement out there and solidified me as one of the, the top fighters in the game. And, so you've seen obviously how Max uh, fights. You know he and Lamas will stand there in the middle and point to the, the yeah. center of the octagon. So, um, I mean, are you excited to get in there and trade hands with him? Or? This is this is gonna be fun. <laughs> this is gonna be fun because we can go. The way I looked at it is we can go either route. You know, we can we can trade punches. We can go to the ground. Um, it, it doesn't matter now at this point. I feel like at the end of the day, when we go in there, we're gonna exchange. A lot is gonna happen, and once all that happens, once once we bang it, whatever, um, then it's gonna be time to, to really look for the for the finish. I do that to everyone. I'll stand there and I'll bang with you, and you give me your best, I give you my best. If you wanna go to the ground, go to the ground. Once we once we kind of do this for a while, then I go, okay, now now let's finish this, and that's that's always been my style. And you seem to have kind of shaken off the slow starter moniker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did we, you see yourself as well? Yeah. I, like I said, even even till now, I feel like I'm I'm still new to to learning, to learning, and to, to the to the game in itself. I feel like I got thrown in there with tough guys, and I had to just kind of just pick up the pieces while I was in there. Like, no choice. They threw these guys. They threw this guy at you. Fight him and finish him and do whatever you can and whatever you have to do and. I was still like unsure of what I was able to do. And now, the more I go into camp and camp and training camp and I go in there and I find more things about myself and I train in a different way, I just get better. And, and I'm happy with it because I'm as a martial artist, you, you get excited because you're like, I always say like, me right now would beat me in six months ago. That's always a goal, I'm always trying to beat myself. And in doing so, like when I step in the octagon and I fight, these things happen, and even I'm like, uh, you know, like, damn, well, that was dope. Next, like, okay, what's next? 
and and now that like I said now that, that I'm getting comfortable and, I'm, and I feel like I'm finally learning and I'm moving in the right direction I'm, I'm excited for what's next you know like whether it's slow start or fast start um, I feel really new still to the game and to feel to feel new at the top it, it, it's a, it's it's almost reassuring because it's like okay like you you barely feel like you're getting started now but you're number one guy so you feel like you have some staying power it's like you know like I'll be in here for a while if I have to don't you feel too like it's your I feel, obviously I feel like it's my destiny. I feel like everything is coming together and I, I feel like there's bigger things also ahead, you know? Some, some, I get this weird feeling that there's, there's bigger things to do still and I can't wait to, to figure it out. How do you turn, I mean, you are a compassionate guy and I know everything you said about that, so you can for it and it's real. How do you, you're going to have to like turn that off though and change door locks and become a fighter. How do you do that? Every time. When you get hit in the face, even by someone you care about, you have to fight. <laughs> it's simple as that. They close the cage. Um, once you get hit, it's on and cracking. You know, whether, whether you like them or don't like them, whether, you know, it's not like it's a street fight or somewhere you go, hey, chill, chill, man, like, you know, no, this is, no one's going to stop this. So, you have to fight or fight. Has your training camp, like, is it the same as it usually is, or have you tried to lean more heavily on boxing or for this camp? We've done everything that we've always done, which is go back to the film and study and get better for yourself. Um, we watch some film on Max as in terms of what he's going to bring to the table, what we have to be aware of, but our training typically always just stays the same. Like I said, I always just want to beat me. My, my goal, they said the biggest, your, your, your toughest opponent is in the mirror. So as long as I keep beating me, then I'm going to be all right. And that, I guess last thing for me is like, I mean, you have so many things going for you. It's uh, we can see that, and I think that the people that follow the sport can see that too. Um, is it hard to not, you know, let yourself get ahead of yourself and, and, and anticipate all those things that could be coming your way, um, given your personality, where you're from, and, you know, just the, who you are? I mean, I always laugh about it because I say, even if we had, even if we lost it all, at least we had it for a bit. Uh, <laughs> But, no, man, I, I take it day by day. I take it fight by fight. I don't get ahead of myself. I know what's in store already, even, you know, whatever hap whatever the outcome of this fight is, I know what's in store. Um, but no, man, I, I feel really good. I feel good about, I look at what happens, worst case scenario and best, best, case, best case scenario, right? And either way, I'm good. I always look at it like you're good. No matter what happens, win, lose, draw, like, I'm gonna be all right. It's not like life's gonna, you know, things still, the, the world keeps moving and like, like always, man. That doesn't, doesn't really affect me. Henry was on the MMA after this morning and he said that the people around you and him feel like you've already won in many ways because you're a professional athlete, you got out of the place where you, where you came from, you're, you're already here, you've already won. Is there an element, I know that you want more, but is there an element of that that you feel too? Yeah, I feel, I feel the same way. I feel like we're not, we're not struggling as much as we were before. Our problems are, are you, we start to think and you feel like you have problems and you go, wait a minute, like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> You're all right now, dude, like, relax. Do you still get the old element though, the bad element coming around or, or were you able to yeah, really no, separate? They, they, Did you want to separate all the way? Not all the way. Yeah. I feel it's, I would never turn my back on anyone nor think that I'm better than them. Um, at the same time, I do explain to them, I can't be, can't be with you outside, you know, anymore like how it used to be or I can't be doing, you know. Now, now we hang out and we do things on my terms as in terms of, you guys love me, right? Keep me safe. You guys respect me, right? Let's do things this way. It, now it's, the game's just changed. 
you know. And for me, these guys all been loving. They all, they all, they know not to bother me during training camp. They know not to take me out even after I win. Like they know where to take me out to, where not to. Like they know me so well now. That's like they know my answer is gonna be no, yes, no. And then I have to think about it as well. I'm like, do I want to go to the club with these guys? <laughs> yes and no, right? Like yes, yeah. I want to celebrate with them because because they see me when I was a kid. But no, because most likely they're gonna get drunk. Something's gonna happen. and I'm gonna be right there. So it's just kind of now realizing. Where to put yourself in and where not to put yourself in. Is there a constant temptation in some ways to fall back into where you were you know, <laughs> 10 years ago? Because you're still around the same people, like you said, it's so kind of the same route. That, the temptation is not really there anymore as in terms of doing stupid things. As like go, go and you know, fight or whatever, you know, things we did. Um, I feel more the temptation is now like let's, let's more like to celebrate. Like you got, we have someone from our entire the Harbor area who's who's doing something, making it. Like I want to celebrate with all you guys, but I know at the same time I gotta be careful how I celebrate. It, you know, but the temptation's not there as in terms of doing stupid things. Sometimes I just do it on my own. But <laughs> it, it wasn't like a, it was it wasn't planned. You know. What is a a 2018 Ryan Ortega problem compared to like a 2007? Right, take a problem. Shit. <laughs> 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 These are the problems. These are the problems aren't really problems now. 2007, I always had to look over my shoulder. As in terms of just walking down the street. I, I was walking. I didn't have a car. I didn't have a car. I was walking, always looking on the street. You're always worried if, if it's, you know, if, if something's going to pop off. Um, no, no relax. You don't get to relax. Now I, I I still have those we call like kind of PTSD moments where you're always still walking. You like you still look or or you go somewhere. And you you're aware, but I feel like that's more the, just the teaching that I got from that environment that that just keeps me surviving. But the problems are different, man. Like I said, I would, I would watch over my back or I would see what kind of mess we're gonna get into or who we're gonna find or what what you know what it was that we're gonna somehow create. Versus now, it's like problems today. Are like, there's no waves to surf. Like, there's, <laughs> like, or, or you know, it just it's it's different. You know, there's like, oh, this guy's calling you for this, or you know, what about this deal? Or, you know, things. It's different now. You know, so it's night and day compared to the problems. And I'd rather have these ones than the other ones. I'll tell you that. Are you a target at all because of your success? You know, where you're from in San Pedro, Barbara, <laughs> I mean, people know you, and they probably knew you back then, and they, yeah. I don't know, you know what I mean? That's a fear. Yeah. That's a fear that I have. I uh, always tell everyone everything. I'm, all the time, I tell them, you know what? Like, one of my fears is... What's that song that says, everything that you do will come back to you in your sweet time? So, that's why I still don't relax. Even my coach gets mad at me sometimes. Because, you know, it's like... He's like, come on, man, relax. I go, nah, it's, I'm always good, but I just never know someone one day or whatever. You never know, man. It's something that you don't know. So we always stay alert and we, we're ready, you know, all the time. Are there are there plans to, to move you and the family out? I don't know. No, stay in there. <laughs> I don't know. That's it. On the way over here, we're driving through Beverly Hills. <laughs> <laughs> and we just joked around right now saying that I told mom I'm going to move over here like oh but there will be no more ruckus be, we'll be the guys bringing the ruckus <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 but uh no. <laughs> 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 our neighbors would be pissed <laughs> <laughs> nah I think I like I like it man. for the most part there's, there's not too much hate you know usually a lot of people get hate from their own city I get I get a lot of love, and uh, if there's someone hidden in there who, whatever, then it is what it is. You know, my day will come. 
So if you have a target on your back there, and you have a target if you become the champion, I mean, who do you look over your shoulder for? You, you've had a, quite a run, and like you said before, they've put only tough people in front of you. But when you're already sitting there looking over your shoulder like that, who do you see in the front of the division that's nipping at your heels that is going to be the next threat? There's a lot of people coming up. I, we said it from the long time ago, Moicano's no joke. Um, he's the guy that's up there. Max Holloway's there. Um, there's some guys out there that, that are they're climbing that ladder and they're 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 hungry, you know. So so far I can name these two. Uh, Zabit, I see. He's a tall guy that everyone's talking about. That caught my eye. His style. You have. Who else up and coming? Yeah, yeah. yeah he yeah, came back from a good fight, fight with Korean Zombie. Did you watch so that fight? I mean, you watch, did you watch that? It was a Saturday. We're sparring, <laughs> but uh, someone had a phone, so it's kind of like, tune in, right? Um, but that was lately. I've been really watching the fights. Well, you have some good names that. And you can stay in that division. You can keep making that weight for a while. Yeah, the weight's no problem. Um, like I said, I'll have a couple. I got these ideas that I want to go for, and uh, if I'm becoming successful, then hopefully I can start asking in a way. Yeah, because that's the yeah. thing, it's all the super fights now. Yeah, it's you know super what I mean? fights. So, is that the Because then you look at it, you're like, okay, the champions are good, like they, champions, you become a champion and you do this, and, and then you look at it, and some of these guys who make super fights, even you're like, damn, I wish I was a part of that fight. So I you want to fight Connor? I like super fights. <laughs> I want super fights. You know, I, I like guys that I can, I can match up well, where, where people don't know what's gonna happen. Like I feel like this, whether the title was here or not, I feel like this is a super fight. But could you fight TJ at 35? Can you make 35? I don't know if I go that. <laughs> I'd make it. I'd make. I'd make it, but. I don't think I'd show up right. No, I don't think yeah. so either. I'm not trying to see that. Catch weight 140. <laughs> <laughs> so when you watch a big versus Connor, are you going, I could be in there? I was. Yeah, yeah I was yeah. watching a lot of things uh, in that fight that I was, if, if I was in that position, I was like, there's a lot of things I would be doing differently. And that kind of just made me realize the more, kind of just <laughs> what I want as a super fight if I ever get there. And it's, it's, it's within reach. If I play my cards right, it's within reach. It's right. like you're more interested in the B match of the contract. Yeah. <laughs> the stylistic matchup. The stylistic matchup. Because every grappler, we have this, I mean, since even before I was training, this whole wrestler versus jujitsu. You know what I'm saying? It's, we get along in the gym, but we're always like, you know, like, and this is a matchup where we're, our hands are both good. He's a top game guy and a wrestler, and I'm a bottom guy, bottom game guy, and I'm a jiu-jitsu guy. You know, it's like, yeah, I don't know. If both those guys were off for a long time, Ferguson is Ferguson is a good bottom guy jiu jitsu as well. That's why it's he's got a shot for Khabib first, I think. But uh, you know, we'll see what happens with that. <laughs>